Kareem Benzema isn't who you think he is. Luxury cars, a Grammy-winning ex-girlfriend, and the scandal that nearly got him arrested. Here are 10 things you didn't know about Kareem Benzema, and he's lucky to still be alive, because back when he was a kid, he literally almost got killed. Growing up, Benzema and his family lived in the city of Braun in Lyon. Thing is, this wasn't any ordinary place. It was full of gangsters, criminals, and all the evil stuff you can think of. Benzema's parents weren't that rich and had no choice, so they settled in, hoping nothing bad happened. And it was actually going great, until one day, some kids decided they'd target Kareem, and all hell broke loose. See, nowadays, his body's flippin' impressive. I mean, look at those abs. But it wasn't always like this. Benzema was fat and chubby when he was still little, so he got picked on a lot. Kids his age saw him as the easy target, so they did horrible things to him, bullied him, and even made him cry. It's all because they knew Benzema wasn't like them. He looked strange, and when they found out why he was different from everyone else, his secret got exposed. Benzema's a legend for the French national team, but it could have been very different. Benzema's dad, Hafid Benzema, he's from Algeria. Yeah, I know what you're probably thinking now. His mom's from France. Maybe that's why he chose France. Nah, see, his mom, Wahida Jabara Benzema, she's from Algeria too. Here's how it all went down. When Benzema was just a kid, things were tough for his dad and his mom in Algeria. So when the opportunity came knocking, they took it and migrated to France. That's why Benzema looked different to those bullies, because he's French Algerian. But Benzema didn't let all the hate stop him from achieving his dreams. And after joining OL in 2002 and balling out for six straight seasons, the big boys came knocking, and one team in particular was racking up all the talent they could find across Europe. And after Benzema linked up with his new teammates, it was time for the Avengers to assemble. assemble. 2010, things took a bad turn. This time, Benzema's dream turned into a nightmare. On April 12, 2010, the French police got a tip about a secret location they'd been tracking for months, and it was all units in. Some anonymous dude dropped the details of the secret bar that belonged to Abu Sofyan. Now, Sofyan was reeled in for heavy questioning. Why? Pimping charges. He was running a gang of illegal sex workers, and now the cops had found out. And it was time for full justice. But Sofyan wasn't alone. He had a couple of ballers on his exclusive list. Yep, Kareem got accused of sleeping with a prostitute. Now, this technically isn't an offense, but when the cops dug in, they found out the shocking truth about the whole situation, and everything exploded. She lied about her age. Zaya Dahar was a minor at the time of the incident. She was underaged? Whoa. Benzema knew he was in deep, and the worst part is, it was just a couple of months before the 2010 World Cup. France's coach at the time, Ramon Domenech, well, he didn't know what to do, man, because people around him were calling for Benzema's head. But just when all hope seemed lost, a miracle happened, and Benzema found his lucky escape. How could I have imagined that after I'd hidden my age, their good faith would be called into question? Zaya Dahar wrote an open letter to the French Federation and told them the whole truth. She lied about her age to Benzema and his friends, and after a couple of investigations, the case got dropped, and Benzema was able to represent France at the World Cup. But I gotta be honest, it was a complete disaster. But Benzema was able to pick himself up and dust off quickly too, because the next time he grabbed the headlines, he set a Clasico record. In the 2011-12 season, Real Madrid faced Barcelona for El Clasico, and it was pretty heated. See, they'd met in the Champions League the season before, and Barca knocked Real out in the semis. So the only thing they had on their minds was revenge. But for Benzema, it was more than that. El Clasico's the biggest game in the world, and only the star ballers bag in goals. He wanted to be in the conversation, so he knew he had to get off to a head start this season, and all it took was 21 seconds to make history. The dude legit scored 21 seconds in against Barcelona. Amazing. But this was just an El Clasico record. A couple of years later, Benzema picked up his form so hard, he broke a world record. Ever since Benzema made his Champions League debut in 2005, he's been banging in goals. 
actually every single year. Back in 2021, Benzema put himself in the books of the Champions League legends because he became the only guy, along with the GOAT, Lionel Messi, to score in 17 consecutive Champions League seasons. 17 seasons straight! Benzema was finally getting all the respect he deserved. But just as his future was looking brighter than ever, his past came back to haunt him. And this time, Benzema went behind bars. In 2015, Benzema and France were preparing for the Euros, when bang, trouble hit. See, Benzema's teammate, Matthew Valbuena, was in a messy situation. Valbuena was hyped about getting his new iPhone, so he dialed up a guy to move his stuff from his old device. And that's when they found something that charged up the whole situation. A freaking sex tape! Whoa! Now, this stuff was Valbuena's private business, but the tech guy had bad intentions and saw an opportunity to make a lot of dough. Pay me and my team or we will leak your sex tape to the whole world. Valbuena knew this wasn't an ordinary situation. He was being blackmailed. So he did the right thing and called the cops. And they got straight into the action. They went undercover to investigate the whole situation. And when they found the results, even they were shocked. He's not taking us seriously. Damn! See, they tapped the tech guy's phone. And when they found his network of blackmailers, Benzema was on it. One of Benzema's buddies, Kareem Zanotti, was involved in the scam, so he got Benzema in on the action and told Benzema to try to convince Valbuena to pay up. But when the news got leaked, the French Football Federation was really pissed, so they dropped a bomb on him and his Euro dreams were over. He was out of the national team. People thought it'd just be for a couple of months, but the investigation came out and determined Kareem guilty, and so his suspension went up another level, indefinitely. So he didn't just miss out on the Euros, he missed out on the greatest night of his country's history. Zero worries. I mean, Benzema was probably kicking it back in his crib and watching some videos on our channel. Cause what else would you be watching if you're a true football fan? But yeah, Benzema's story was so wild, some people thought it was a Netflix series. So when Damian Piscarell reached out, he had Benzema in the spotlight. All of his teammates pulled through, man. I'm talking about Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale, Marcelo, Sergio Ramos, and even Frank Ribéry. Piscarell made a documentary about Benzema's life, so people would know the truth. He ain't a monster, he's still a nice guy. And an icon, too, because his drip is so hard, it's getting him on the cover of magazines. Man, Benzema's fashion is very drippy. Dude has ballers stepping out in new threads. But don't get it twisted. There's one thing Benzema usually wears that everyone thinks is a fashion accessory, but no one knows the true story behind it. And it's a painful one. See, back in 2019, Real Madrid and Real Batiste faced off in La Liga, 76 minutes in, and that's when it happened. See, Benzema and Mark Bartra were going for the ball, and bang! They bumped into each other and fell. The fans in the stadium didn't think much of it at first, but Benzema, he was in so much pain he couldn't even stand up. So the coach had to sub him off, and he was immediately rushed to the hospital, and the docs on site ran a quick scan. And when the results came in, Benzema was broken. Yikes! If my finger looked like that, I'd be screaming all night in the ER. See, Benzema's finger was twisted, so when the docs came in, they broke the news. You need surgery to repair your broken finger. But Kareem had other ideas. So he came up with a new plan, and after he hit it, dude became a cheat code. See, Benzema figured that if he'd undergo surgery, he'd be out for a couple of months, and the dude just wanted to play football. What Benzema didn't know was, this thing he'd done started a new trend all over the world, and pretty soon, he had ballers turning up looking injured. I've got to admit it, it looks cool. Benzema's fashion sense is unique. He had celebrities trying to get a slice of the Big Ben's pie, and in 2015, 15, rumors spread out he was dating the most popular female on the planet. No, not Michelle Obama. This one. Yeah. It was all over social media that Benzema and a female pop artiste were doing sneaky links. Now, no one thought it was major until they saw the pictures. And boom! The internet exploded. Oh. Benzema and Rihanna? Incredible. Even though the world of social media was losing it, 
Benzema was still chill and keeping his cool, so when he got asked about the whole situation a couple of years later, he gave a very cheeky response. I don't follow her on Instagram. I don't follow her. Ah, I see what you did there, Big Benz. Really smooth, player. When you've got skills like Benzema, score goals, and bag legendary female artists, you know you're living the best life and miles ahead of the competition. And if you thought Benzema's fashion sense was amazing, you've got to check out the wheels he pulls up in, because his garage is insane. In 2018, just a few days before the Champions League final, Benzema was confident he'd win with Madrid. So he decided to celebrate early and splash the millions on a supercar. Uh, scratch that. A hypercar. $3.2 million. And this ain't the only Bugatti in his garage. Before he copped the Chiron, he had another exclusive hypercar in his basement. This one, the Bugatti Veyron, cost him just over $2 million. And with the specs on this bad boy, it's worth every cent. But Benzema's also got other amazing wheels, like the Mercedes AMG G63, the Lamborghini Aventador, the Rolls-Royce Wraith, and the Ferrari 488 Spider. But in 2019, Benzema added the world's most expensive sports utility car to his impressive collection. Benzema was so pumped about this car, he had the car on his IG and hit it up with this caption. You just have to love Benzema. He's pulling through for his homies, man. His custom Rolls-Royce Cullinan has a special message out front. Subscribe to Skiller Originals. Benzema, you're a legend. And if you want to see how Erling Holland spends his millions, watch this video on screen now. He legit spent 25 mil on something so crazy, I don't even have the words to describe it.